In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make simple animations using text. So I've started a new composition here that's 1920 by 1080. I'm going to go up here and select my text tool. I'm going to go over here and I'll draw out a box and I'll write in a word. I'm just going to type in the word soccer. Again, when I make text, you should get a panel here on the right-hand side. I can change the font. If I left-click and drag on the size, I can make the text bigger or smaller. I have lots of text options. I can stretch the text out. I can play with my leading, kerning. Uh, I can stretch the text horizontally and vertically, and I can change the colors. I'm pretty happy with those colors. Now, to animate text, there's a number of things we can do. So starting down here, uh, I can open up my text layer and I'll show you kind of the simplest ways. So under my transform, I can change the anchor point. So if I move the anchor point around, let's say I want the anchor point to be in the middle of the word soccer. I can move it something like that. Now, let's say I want to make the text come into the scene. So that's going to be my position. So if I click on the clock, I'll get my keyframe there. I'm going to scrub ahead to the four second mark. And then I'm going to drag my text straight up into the middle of the frame. So now I've made a simple animation where my text moves up. If I wanted that to follow a curved path, if I click on this keyframe and I right click, I can choose see that again, won't be able to see that. If I right click on here, I'm going to choose keyframe interpolation. And instead of having a linear one, I'm going to choose Bezier. I'm going to hit OK. Now if I zoom in there, you can see a little circle there. If I click on that circle and pull out, my text can follow a curved path, like so. So it's following a curved path. What else can I do? I can scale the text. Let's say I want the text to start out small and get larger. I've set a keyframe there by clicking on that clock again. I'm going to go up to the top. If I want the text to get bigger, I can make it bigger like this. Or I can go to the left and make it really small. Let's go bigger. Under rotation, let's say I want to rotate the text. I'm going to click on the clock, left click on the clock. I'm going to go to the end. Here under number, I'm going to click once. I'm going to type in the number three. Press enter. Now my text will spin three times. One, two, three. The final thing I can do here is I can play with the opacity. So if I go back to the beginning click opacity, go to the end. I'm going to bring the opacity down to about 47. So now when I play my animation, I've got my text spinning, following a curved path, reaching here and getting partly see-through. If I want to make this text last a little bit less, I'll drag that back. And there's the first part of my animation. Now, I want to add some more text. Let's say I want to do text in a different way. Grab my text box. I'm going to make a new box. Soccer is the best, of course. Oops. To make my text box a bit bigger. There we go. Now I want this text to show up after I've written the word soccer. So I'm going to bring that layer back a bit. So it's going to say soccer. Then I want is the best to pop in. Now, other ways to animate. If you look here, let me just lock this layer. It's good practice to lock layers you're not working with. If I open this up, instead of using transform, there's the word animate here. This is another way we can animate text in unique ways. If I click on here, I can animate things such as 
let me do this up so you can see it. I'm going to click here. I can blur the text. I can track it. I can change the color of the text. I can rotate it in more advanced ways. This one's kind of fun. So let's click on rotation. When you do that, you get a whole bunch of options down here under range selector. So I can open that up. Let's open up advanced. I can rotate all the characters. So let's say I want the characters to rotate. So what I'm going to do here is, if I want this text to rotate, I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this box here. I'm going to scrub ahead to the eight second mark. Right here, I'm going to type the word in the number two. Now what's going to happen is all the letters are going to rotate. It's going to rotate because I have an advanced setting here that said, okay, I want all the characters to rotate. So now soccer is going to show up is the best is going to rotate twice and stay there. Uh, I can do other things as well when I press the word animate. Again, you can change the fill color, uh, but we're not going to worry about that. So, perfect. Now, let's say I want, so I'm going to have this end here. So the animation will say soccer is the best. Let's say I want to add another word. Let's animate one more thing here. I'm going to animate the word sport. Okay. I wanted to show up after is the best. So is the best is going to rotate. Now, sport, I want to make it more interesting. There's lots of presets we can use in After Effects. So to browse the presets, so there's a couple ways to see them. Window, I can choose effects and presets. And all my text presets are under animation presets and text. The problem with this is I don't know what any of these do. So it says animate in. There's a whole bunch of options. A better way to see and browse all the different types is under animation, I can click browse presets. And it'll open up the presets in bridge. So then I can double click on text. Let's say I could double click on animate in. And then if I click on these, it'll actually show me what those effects do. So now I can have a preview of, that one's kind of fun too, random fade up. So I can go back here and I can check out some other ones. Here's a fill and stroke one. These ones look pretty fun. This one will do a pulsating edge line and this will make it pulse in orange. This one's kind of fun too. If you like and want to use one of these, how you can apply it, you can quickly just double click on this. And now it's going to apply to that word. So as I play it now, soccer is the best. Sport. And I can make that smaller. Now, if I look at everything I've done, if I look at my first word, I've used kind of our basic transformations with rotations, opacity, position, and scale. Then I applied some advanced rotation on is the best. And then I applied a special preset that is already in After Effects. So that's kind of a quick little demo uh, tutorial on how to animate text three different ways uh, and using Bridge as well to browse the presets. Um, happy animating.